In the previous video, episode 2, we shot sunrise at Valley View, scouted a riverbend, El Cap scene, hiked the Mist Trail, Tavernal Fall, Nevada Fall, oh, and who could forget the squirrel attack? For episode 3, we'll start at Tunnel View, then head over to that riverbend we scouted the day before. Our hike today takes us to Mirror Lake. And lastly, we'll end the day at El Capitan, under the stars. So why not sit back, relax, and enjoy the sights, sounds, and beauty that is Yosemite. Iconic photographs live in this valley, the very best hang in Ansel's gallery. Amateurs to professionals will descend on this place, all trying to capture its majesty and grace. Some scenes are hidden and require help from a friend, while others can't be missed, like where the river makes its bend. Or when Bridal Veil Fall is bathed in soft lunar light, but make no mistake, for El Capitan is king and he reigns by day and by night. Okay, day two at Tunnel View. Got my cotton ready to prime right here. <laughs> Remember that scout we did yesterday where we found the river bend with El Cap in the background? Well, this is a lovely morning to head over there. The sun is out, and that location has the best light an hour or two after sunrise, giving us two sunrise opportunities. Let's go. Monday morning, Yosemite Valley. We're down here at this elbow in the river, taking a picture of the river and the El Cap. Get the side light. I pan over this way. And you got Mark down there taking his pictures. We're right off the road as you can tell. But it's a nice scene. Now there's Mark stealing my shot of the sunburst. Uh, thanks Mark.
morning. It's uh, boy, is it Monday morning here, Mark? Yeah, Monday. Is. Yeah, we're sort of losing track of track of days here. That's not such a bad thing, is it? We're in Curry Village here. Um, there's the uh, grocery store right here, and that's where we get our snacks, goodies, all kinds of stuff like that. Shirts, in fact, that's it right there. <laughs> and we're gonna go and get some water right here. And, uh, fill up for the trail. Heading out to Mirror Lake today, and then we're gonna spend some time in the. Uh, the valley area there's all kinds of little things we've been seeing on the loop uh speaking of loop lupins <laughs> keep talking about shooting the lupin flowers um and uh just a few other things around around the general area so i'll uh i'll make some other videos as we as we go along but uh let's go ahead and uh, fill up our fill up our bottles and uh get on the trailhead it was a quarter after nine and we were roadbound for another excursion with not one, but two sunrise shoots already accomplished and the entire day ahead of us. We hit the valley area first, then plan to hike Mirror Lake later in the afternoon. Lovely morning. So Mark and I decided to go back to Tunnel View this morning, bright and early, or I should say not bright and early, um, as it wasn't too bright when we got on scene. Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, you just get right in if you want. <laughs> It almost looks like a coconut. It some, must have been a, like a growth. Oh, look at this thing, man. Oh, it looks like a coconut almost. That is it's, really it's like a knot or something. That is wild, it's man. <laughs> it's, it's hot. I mean, you can just find it. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, so we're just exploring, <laughs> yeah, finding everything from coconut-looking wood shapes and for the record, I just have to say that even before we, we got on site, uh, Mark was uh, really, really uh, hoping to get uh, to get fog in the valley. That was that was one of the shots that he was really, really hoping for. And this morning, this morning actually delivered. We had uh, this just fantastic fog-filled valley, and what it did is it added so much depth to the valley with the uh, evergreen trees just uh, just layers and layers of evergreen uh, in fact here's a here's an image of of that view right here um yeah just just spectacular so anyway we're exhausted from a big hike yesterday uh really really did a number on us we had too much weight on our back you know we, we carried too much camera gear so uh we covered Vernal falls nevada falls and then we uh, followed down the uh, John Muir Trail and uh, got some spectacular views. So we decided to stay in the, the Yosemite Valley. The, we're gonna, in fact, we're just on our way to El Capitan Meadow. And on the way, it's just, it's, it's just, a, it's sort of a spontaneous pullover stop. We've seen a stop here. We've seen this gorgeous view. So uh, we decided, uh, let's just stop. Let's just do a little photograph. And then we're gonna do that all morning here. And uh, just uh, just explore the area, and it, it, I mean, at this point with the, with the light, I'm gonna try some some black and white. Um, you know, thanks to my friend Bruce, a good uh, photogra photographer friend of mine. He's uh, he's pushing me to do more more black and white. Really inspire me with some of his work. Uh, so thanks, Bruce Clark. <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna do black and white here. I got some we got some deep shadows with the, the harsh sun harsh sun and um and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna sort of uh i'm gonna work on my black and white here and this is a scouting uh this is a scouting event for us so we find what we like and uh and then we can come back when the, the lighting condition is better and maybe walk over with some good black and white as well so. continued our tour around the valley loop and found a nice field of lupins. Those are firefighters in the background working on managed fires to actually prevent a forest fire. back 
on the valley loop to see where our leisurely jaunts would take us. Valley Loop here. I think we're at Cathedral Beach. And, uh, just figured we'd check it out really quick, take a walk down, see if there's any photogenic opportunities. Alright, so we're back in Curry Village, early afternoon, we're gonna lay a little low and have some lunch, relax, do a data dump, backups, all that good stuff, and then we're thinking about heading out to Mirror Lake, and uh, go from there. So we're not quite sure what we're gonna shoot so far for, for tonight. Um, well, I know it's not gonna be the Milky Way, because unfortunately, the Milky Way is uh, in the wee hours of the evening oh, all week. So, yeah, you know, unless we want to just completely skip sleeping, um, there's not many Milky Way opportunities for us. And that's really a shame, but it is what it is. We decided to try the Yosemite transportation this time around. Up to now, we've either ridden our bikes or simply walked. The shuttle stop at Curry Village is a two minute walk. If that. These shuttles are packed, standing room only. Needless to say, we'll probably walk the extra mile or two next time around. This is shuttle stop number 17. This is also the trailhead. You can literally follow this paved path to Mirror Lake which goes up the left side of Tanaya Creek. Or you can take the more traditional trailhead through the woods and go up the right side of Tanaya Creek. We chose the right side going up and the left side when returning. Ponderosa Pine. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> All right, I think we I think we came to what I believe is the first smaller lake, the uh, southernmost part, and that happens to be right here. Over here is where we'll shoot Mount Watkins' reflection in the lake. Hence, Mirror Lake. To our east is Half Dome, and before leaving Curry Village, we noticed a half moon over Half Dome. Sounds like a great name for a photograph, eh? Curry Village is southwest of here, and even though Mirror Lake has a slightly different perspective of Half Dome, I was still hoping for the opportunity to make a half moon over Half Dome photograph. Anyway, to our north is Mount Watkins, and that's the mountain we'll frame in our Mirror Lake image. So let's head back to the trailhead and enjoy this beautiful day in Yosemite Valley. There is the water. There's Mirror Lake. Mark and I are thinking about seeing if we can head over to the other side. Yes. How you doing, folks? And, the lake uh, is gone. The lake is gone, man. So we're thinking about heading over to the other side and uh, maybe taking the easy road back. So he's already halfway across. I better get going.
Well, but what's left of the lake? But Mark is setting up. He must have seen something. All right, what did you see? You're setting up. Yeah. We got some nice clouds coming over here. Plus, look up there. That's quite a. Yeah. Man, I just wish we had clouds, but it's nice blue against the white granite. This definitely has an alpine-ish feel to it. It does. It does. Well, not quite alpine at this elevation. A future episode takes us to the high country, over 8,000 feet, with all its splendid alpine beauty, Tenaya Lake, and Tuolumne Meadows. But that's for another day. While the trailhead continues north to a footbridge where you can cross Tenaya Creek, we just couldn't resist the notion of wading through the water. So, it was off with the shoes to do some real grounding, to feel the earth below us. It was back to Curry Village to grab our bikes and then head over to Yosemite Village. We weren't doing pizza again tonight at the dome, I mean, uh, the deck. And we still had some time before sunset. But the light was already radiant and soft. Quite lovely, I might add. So what's it like to ride bikes in Yosemite during golden hour? Well, pop in some earbuds, I'll provide the music, and let's go for a bike ride in Yosemite's Majestic Valley. Caught behind Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep what I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between. Village and going to the store here. Don't look before you leave. 
give you get to keep So long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes We cut through the village store to get to the village grill, although it would have been just as easy to ride our bikes around back. But as it turns out, they were closed, so we tried Degnan's Kitchen. Alright, the grill, the village grill is closed. It's kind of, uh, it's just after six. A little surprising, but, uh, seen, uh, you know, the person in the park who recommended we come here. Did Delhi. Uh, six o'clock. Oh, man. Alright. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, well, the deli's closed too. We're going back to the village store and buying uh, sandwiches out of the out of the fridge. After having a rather disappointing dinner, we figured we'd try our luck at Ansel Adams' gallery. I mean, we're right here in Yosemite Village. It's just up the road from Degnan's Kitchen, and it's on our A-list. So let's go. That's the Wilderness Center, and there it is. Looks like it's closed. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely have to go there. It'd be nice, huh? Yeah, yeah. This would be cool. So, the man himself. This would be perfect. We close the door, and we make our way over. The chapel? Chapel. Double sunset, baby. With yeah. It. That's what happened. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> well, where are we going tonight? We're going to Valley View or we're going to Tunnel View for sunset. Valley View. Valley View. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it's the Valley View. As it turns out, we had an uneventful sunset at Valley View. So we ran up the tunnel view and tried our luck there. Nope. Not that the sky would be much different six minutes up the road, but hey, you won't know if you don't go. I did get this though. What'd you think? Well, at least all you engineers out there will appreciate this one. Remember that strange phenomenon I mentioned in episode one, where you've already stopped the car before even realizing it? Well, ironically, it happened again at the same exact spot. But this time, it was twilight. And we just happened to notice tiny specks of light on the wall of El Cap. It can only be one thing. Or when Bridal Veil Fall is bathed in soft lunar light. But make no mistake, for El Capitan is king and he reigns by day and by night. If I can get some, uh, all right, I'm probably blinded Mark right now. All right, so we, we tonight started, we kind of had a bomb sunset at the tunnel view, and so we uh, were driving back and uh, we see a bunch of just lights on uh, on El Capitan. And we just, <laughs> we're just like, look at that. All the, yeah, all the hike, I mean, all the climbers. It's crazy, all the climbers are just camped out up there. We just had to, we had to start, uh, you know, just playing with that and, uh, it was just amazing. We'll, we'll share some of these shots, but uh, but then we started playing with the waterfall. Be sure to join Mark and I in the next episode as we visit the Mariposa Grove of Giant Sequoias. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get that burner sunset at Tunnel View. 
Until then, be kind to one another, forgive, and get out there and get moving.